push. That's what makes this work. Go figure. Technology. My nemesis. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> Good afternoon. Wow, you sound a whole lot more energetic than I thought you would after this week. Um, congratulations for making it through one week of very intensive direct instruction training. I'd like to give you all a hand. Give yourselves one also. So, do you feel like uh, you have worked very, very hard? Yeah. Pretty much. Do you feel like you also kind of had a good time while you were working hard? Yeah. Not so much. <laughs> Oh well, we'll work on that. You probably had more fun than you realize and you'll get home and you'll say, wow, that was great and I can't wait to come back next year for the last week of July to come back to Eugene, Oregon for some of the best. Did I promise you that this is probably the best staff development that you've attended since the last time you attended a Nifty staff development event? And was I right? Yes. Well, that's good because I spent some time talking to some of the trainers and other participants, and the trainers said that by, by far this was the greatest group of trainers, or excuse me, participants, since last year. And so, <laughs> and they were sincere, and actually I am also. I'm amazed, you know, one of the, one of the indicators to me at a conference has to do with, because um, while you're busy in your sessions, we're out trying to figure out, you know, what we're going to do at the next training and what we can do to improve our, our conferences and whatnot. And, and if I see a lot of people wandering around, like waiting to see if they can get the cookies before anyone else, or if, uh, you know, just kind of um, what we may say, uh, shooting the breeze with, with uh, perhaps some of their colleagues, if I see that going on in the hallways, to me that says there's something going on and why aren't they in session? That wasn't the case this year. People were, you know, they were in their sessions when I went through and looked at what was going on in the classroom or in the, uh, the session breakouts. What I saw were people very engaged, practicing hard, taking the feedback in, in the spirit in which it's given and really trying to learn and do what they could to improve their skills. And I so, so much appreciate that. Like Tom Torkelson was saying in his opening, you know, that is what our future is, is the hard work that you're doing in the classrooms. So again, I thank you for that. It gives me great hope for the future. But you're not here to uh, listen to me go on and on, um, but instead you're here, oh, but I do have to do a couple of thanks, a few. <laughs> Let me see, where's my list? Um, first of all, I, I really want to thank and, and, uh, and let them know how much we appreciate, uh, how much we appreciate McGraw-Hill for their support, their sponsorship, and the great things that they're doing out there. And so thank you to all the McGraw-Hill folks. <laughs> a huge thank you to our trainers. Um, they did a fantastic job, they, and uh, you know a lot of them travel great distances, and uh, and it's great to again bring together the best of the best. And so thanks to the trainers, <laughs> to the staff that helped support me, whether it was at Engelman Becker Building, uh, you know the the Nifty staff, uh, the 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 temporary Nifty staff and the, the, the permanent ones um, to Alexa Engelman, to Nathan Engelman, to Gage Long. They uh, were great in supporting me throughout the week. And, uh, you know, and, and it was really great listening to, you know, the questions that they had for me, like, so tell me about this product. Tell me about this. How can I help this person do this? Um, you know, they are, they're spectacular. And I, and I thank them. Uh, I don't know if they're in the room right now, but thank you so much for the support that you provide. You made my week infinitely easier and so thanks to them uh, and finally a guy who hasn't uh, really been much in the limelight except for within the context of his session and that's the president of nifty Kurt Engelman Kurt stand up so people actually know who you are there's only been about a dozen there were about 18 or so in his session um, but beyond that I, I um, no, and thank you, Kurt. Thanks for the opportunity that you give me, the opportunity that you give lots of other people, and we appreciate your leadership and the guidance that you give the organization. Thanks for that. So that finally all said, um, why don't we bring up the man of the hour, and that would be Zig Engelman. Would you make your way 
up to the stage to give the closing. And, uh, and so please welcome Zig Engelman. Thank you. I have a canned presentation here, but I have a can opener too. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the first slide, NIFTY Conference 2016. What can teachers and administrators do to make instruction effective to assure that students succeed? I don't have to answer that question. All I have to do is turn the page. There are five steps you can take. Choose programs with proven track records of improving the performance of kids. DI programs have a good track record. Also, the latest connecting math concepts is fully aligned with the common core state standards. And the alignment good, even though we hate the standards a lot. Number two, implement programs with fidelity. District mandates may make the full implementation of DI difficult, but who's counting? I mean, that doesn't count for much one way or another. Uh, teach every day, group kids homogeneously, use effective corrections and firming, and make sure kids are turned on, and make sure kids are turned on. That may be the most important of all, because if they know the game is for them, and they are playing it, and they're getting something out of it, they're winning, they're beating it, um, that's worth everything. And that can motivate them to great heights, not, not in, you know, physical, but in <laughs> mental. A secondary goal is to use evidence of student improvement to lobby for expanded implementation of the programs. Operate from the maxim that student performance shows what's best for students. That's fine, but I ain't into lobbying. I don't know. Uh, that are, those are points that can be used for sure. But what's, what's real for a teacher is what goes on in that classroom. And our primary concern is to show what's best for students by showing improved performance in the classroom. Okay, four. I don't know that the others were numbered, but I noticed this one's numbered. <laughs> Stick with it, but don't let school politics interfere with te teaching. Uh, that, that's good. School politics have no place in uh, affecting teaching. And it's not about school politics. It's about teaching. And it's about teaching effectively. Realize that change in the system may not happen immediately, but take satisfaction in knowing you've done the right thing for kids. Wait a minute. What are we talking about here? This is eight yards from where a teacher is. A teacher is that person in charge of that classroom, in charge of the group. The teacher is the transmitter of the knowledge. The teacher is the one who sees the measurements of those kids change. Not the physical measurements, but the measurements of what they can do, the things they can respond to, what they know, what they remember, what they're learning, how fast they're learning it, and what's going on. And those are the details that make a difference in the stature of the children, because they may only grow an inch or two during a year. But with good teaching inside, they can grow a country mile, a real lot. They can, they can learn not only the game, but learn how to play it well, so that, so that they're increasing by percentages 
that would be frightening in any other realm but teaching, and they're not often even recognized in teaching. Take a kid who starts school at the 18th percentile. There are a lot of schools that are loaded with these kids. And what do they finish with, typically? The 20th percentile, 21st percentile. But if we teach them, if we start where they are, and we effectively teach them, they can grow. And as they grow, they can grow faster. And the more they learn, the more they're capable of learning. And at the end of the next year, they may have an IQ of uh, not just, or a percentile score of not 18 anymore, but maybe 24. That was one hard gain, but it was a great gain because it taught the kid what the game is. And now the kid can play the game, and the next year that kid can improve to, say, like the 32nd percentile. And the year after that, the 39th, and the year after that, the 43rd. And what have you done during those years? You've taken a, a human that was here in terms of stature, in terms of intelligence and ability, and you brought him up here. That's amazing. Which friggin' doctor can do anything like that? <laughs> and, and I'm sure there are a lot of lawyers that could convince you they can do it, but <laughs> I don't see any evidence that they can. Uh, there's only one group who can do it, and that's us. And if we recognize that, the power we have and the indictments that we can bring down, the changes we can make, and the benefits we can give that kid, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's not about these, you know, Mickey Mouse political bullshit deals. I mean, we have to live with that stuff. But I mean, if we're teachers, you know, our hearts are with the kids. So, yeah, the system may not change immediately, but we're taking satisfaction in knowing that if we teach like that, we're doing the right thing for kids. And we know it, we can feel it, and we can show it, and we have solid evidence that it happens. So, if you do these things, teach. And teach with fidelity, teach with heart, teach with passion. You can help show that every child and every teacher can succeed. And that's all she wrote, folks. So, I mean, what more can you say after that, right? <laughs> um, so next year, you're going to come back here, July 24th through 28th of 2017, and you're going to know a whole lot more about what you want to know a whole lot more about, and you're going to come in with enthusiasm, you're going to come in having experienced success, and you're going to come back with your friends, right? Your colleagues, right? More of them. We would, I think that uh, that's what, what we do need to be seeing in terms of education, in terms of direct instruction. You can succeed. You can absolutely do these things that, uh, that, that you know, set your goals high, work towards them. Get in touch with Nifty. We are here to support you, not just if you're a member of, of, of the National Institute for Direct Instruction, Nifty, not just if you're one of our partner schools, which we'd be delighted to talk to you about the opportunities that, uh, that exist for us to be working with you, but just if you get in a bind, contact us. Outside on, the, uh, on the, the table just outside, there's this great document. It's a tour of resources. Um, this, this internet thing, it's a fad. It's going to be a bust. <laughs> it's, 
It just absolutely is. But until that day comes, it does exist, and it's a great way of communication. And, and so uh, this tour of resources, is, it's geared towards our website. That's one of the best ways of accessing us, because apparently people don't use telephones anymore, and God forbid that they'd write a letter. But, uh, but, the, but, the, uh, but our website, www.nifdi.org, Pretty easy to remember. We put a lot of thought into that one, um, but our web uh, our website is fantastic, and this this sheet documents some of the great ways that uh, you can tap into those resources. A really neat one is the uh, direct instruction listserv. You 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 can easily subscribe to this free service. Again, don't have to be a member. Don't have to be one of our partner schools. Just click on that. You the, doing that is going to subscribe you to a list where there's about 600 plus people worldwide where you can post your questions, your, your, your concerns, your queries, your observations even, um, and, and it will go, go out to all of these people. You can get back uh, answers to your questions. You can uh, disseminate the, 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 the great gains that you're making. Um, so avail yourself to the resources that we have created at, at our website. Oh, did I mention that's www.nifdi.org. Um, so do that. Also, keep in touch with us. We had our awards uh, uh, celebration of excellence just the other night and heard about the fantastic job that several schools and individuals are doing utilizing direct instruction. And we have a call for nominations that is gonna come out back uh, in, no, in uh, excuse me, in March. Um, look at that. Think of where you're seeing direct instruction make an impact at the, at the building level, individuals that are doing an excellent job, students that have made remarkable gains. We have a mechanism for recognizing those, those people and those buildings. So please look at that when it comes out. But keep in touch with us because I get lonely. I'm outreach director. I'm reaching out to you. And so give me something, something. Uh, so that said, go home. Have a great rest of your summer. Come see us again in Eugene. Thank you.